hope you're doing well thank you so much for tuning in hope you liked my intro and having an awesome time working from home it's been third day i didn't quite think that i will be able to achieve this it's been third day so let's get started Today's dashboard, day 3, we are trying to do Power BI plus Google Analytics. So basically the Google Analytics dashboard or the login, not easy to understand if you want to compare some mobile metrics with kind of like uh, acquisition of goals. You have separate tabs over there. You can't actually have a single visual one in one place and another visual in another place. Let's try, try to create a template or a dashboard with that feature within Power BI. That data coming live directly from Google Analytics for your website. Let's get started then. Power BI, you cannot use it with a dot .live or a dot .gmail. Sorry at the red live at the red gmail.com emails maybe i'll cover that in the next episode in the coming episodes of how you can get your free domain and a free hosting and a free email for you with your own domain which you can utilize to register with power bi and download the power bi app for those of you who already have a power bi app you just need to you know sign in download the application on your desktop we will be working on the power bi desktop version and then publishing it in the service and checking it out yep so I've already installed the Power BI application on my system. I'll just open Power BI. So once you open Power BI, uh, an untitled uh, Power BI application will open with a welcome screen like this. We'll just close this for now. And then you can simply go uh, and click on more. Once you've gone on the uh, get data option and this window opens up, you just need to search for Google Analytics. Click on that, connect. Once that opens up, then a window will open up asking you to sign into your Google account within the Power BI application so that Power BI has the authorization to pull the data from your Google account, Google Analytics. The only thing you need to ensure is you're logging into the right email, which has access to the Google Analytics account. And now you're currently signed in uh, and then you can simply, you know, uh, go ahead and connect. Now it will pull in all the details of uh, your account how many websites or properties it has in google analytics you have an account and then you have its properties and then goals so you just need to navigate to the right property under the account it's structured in such a way that it's kind of like a sql query from the uh, google server you just need to decide which uh, websites data you want to get just select on g person down a website i uh, I'll click on all website data property and what kind of data I do I want in my table I can include each and everything but I don't want to right now So there you have it folks uh, we have completed a simple basic dashboard of power bi published to power bi service uh, from where you can share it externally embedded on a website or you know or, you know gain insights for yourself uh, easily rather than relying on google analytics dashboard you can create your own visuals like this and uh, have age group bifurcations have user retention bifurcation uh, average session per user bifurcations or you can just have buckets of age groups like i have done before you go do hit that subscribe button and comment below which next dashboard you want me to do that that would be all for today thank you so much for tuning in and have a blast bye bye